But a lot of y'all get mad at us. Why? Because you don't want to. You don't want us to tell you to do right. You love doing your wickedness, man. Uh, get that in Proverbs 27 and 5. Proverbs chapter 27, verse 5. It said, open rebuke is better than secret love. That's right. Open rebuke meaning what? To call out that person's wickedness. To bring it to the forefront. That's better than secret love. Because when you do secret love, th that means what? You're trying to hide that person's sin. Right. You're trying to cover up his iniquity. Whether you grew up with this dude, or you just got lo plain love for this dude, you're trying to turn a blind eye to his wickedness. Why? Because you got some type of feelings or ways about this dude. And that's a sin, man. You see what I'm saying? You're not supposed to do that. As a man of the Lord, you're supposed to call out a person's wickedness, man. Regardless of who it is. You see what I'm saying? Your brother going off, hey, you rebuke him. You see what I'm saying? You, you don't try and cover up their brothers. Man, I know he committed adultery, but... I can't let this get to the apostles and elders, man, because I know they're going to kick him out because I love this brother, man. He's really a good dude, man. He just fucked up. No, man. You're supposed to do what you're supposed to do as a leader, as a brother in the camp, man. See what I'm saying? You ain't supposed to let that slide, man. No. You how about Shimei was shy has, has told you what? To rebuke this dude. And you're being rebellious against the Lord. No, I don't want to do that, Lord. He a good dude. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, certain instances where you show mercy to a brother, but not for no adultery. You see what I'm saying? Not for no uh, going out here and, and worshiping, bow down and worshiping Satan willfully. Hell no. Yeah, I ain't worried about the truth, man. I'm gonna go out here and be an Egyptologist. That's bowing down to Satan. You know what I'm saying? The black woman is God. That's bowing down to Satan. But then when we call you out on you, man, FGMS, I'm going to kill you whole ass niggas. Fuck y'all. You see what I'm saying? But yet in the street, you call yourself tough, but then we rebuke you with words, with the scriptures, and words that you have about Shimei was shot, then you want to get mad and violent. What kind of nonsense is that? But in the street, you was a gangster. You see what I'm saying? That's an oxymoron, like bro I always like to say. That's an oxymoron, man. See what I'm saying? Go ahead, bro. This is verse 6. It says, Faithful are the wounds of a friend, but the kisses of an enemy are deceitful. See? Faithful are the wounds of a friend. Yeah. Meaning what? The, 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 the uh, correction and chastisement. That's right, man. You see what I'm saying? But the kisses of a what? Of an enemy. Uh, of an enemy is what? Deceitful. Deceitful. What are those kisses? Oh, man. Y'all ain't got to uh, pay your tithes to the elders. Take down that Yahweh Shai sign. That's an idol. But ain't nobody bound down worshiping an idol, nigga. What's the purpose of that? Just like you, don't you like your picture being ta uh, taken to put put up on your Facebook or Instagram or whatever? If that's the case, you put yourself up as an idol. Images, like they say, a picture is worth a thousand words, man. We use images for what? As, as a teaching tool to show people, this is what we're talking about. This is what this looks like. This is what the Bible describes it looks like. Not saying bow down and worship it. That shows you how moronic and, and idiotic you people are, man. You see what I'm saying? What you gonna say, bro? Uh, yeah, because the truth, it, it, it hurts, man. That's why I said uh, faithful are the ones of a friend, man. Because when your friend, when somebody telling you what's right, man, it, it don't feel good, man. It don't feel good for somebody to chastise you, man. You know, you, you I, we all got chastised. I've got chastised, I'm sure, bro. We yeah, got chastised. We've all got chastised. It don't feel good. But it's, it's how you take it. It's, it's how your growth is, is going to be a, a concern, man. If you take it like, I ain't doing it, you can't tell me nothing, nigga, then guess what? You're going to be handled as such. But if you take it like, man, Okay, brother, I, I gotta do better. And examine yourself and try to do better, then guess what? You're broke. You'll start growing spiritual, man. See, these scriptures are, are, are to make uh, make a man out of you. Not to make no little woman out of you, man. Matter of fact, as you said, it cannot, you're Romans 15 and 14. So you gotta watch how you take chest to ask it, man. Yeah. Well, it started, go to four, and then we're going to, uh, we're going to go down to, uh, 14. Started four. 
since the bro said these scriptures are to uh, build you up and correct you and make a man out of you, read that in Romans 15 and 4. For whatsoever things were written, and for time, and for time were written, for our learning. It says what? Whatsoever thing were written a fourth time was written for our learning. See what I'm saying? This whole book right here of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is our what? Teaching tool on how to conduct ourselves as men. Like the brother said, this is what gives you character, builds your character up, and gives you integrity as a man. See what I'm saying? Because what? It takes a real man to admit his faults and mistakes. Even, even when he's corrected, you know what I'm saying? You, you show yourself by being a man by what? You know what, Brother Salak did. You're right, I was wrong. Forgive me. That's part of being a man. That's part of taking your rebuke, man. You see what I'm saying? You you can't take a rebuke like, man, fuck this nigga. He don't know me. Who the fuck he think he is? When he looking out for your soul. That's why it, it pisses us off when y'all start attacking the apostles and elders when they rebuke you. But 